so. Um, he's actually 13 years old, so he's getting up there in age for a Tamandua. Generally, they live to be about 15 or so, maybe 20 years. Um, and he's the blonde variety. They do come in another color, it's the vested color, and basically he'd be um, all, almost, almost black, dark, dark brown, with a nice light V on his back. And uh, the boys are all bigger than the girls. The girls are very petite, but they're feisty. <laughs> Tipu is actually a pretty laid back kind of guy. He, he chills out pretty, pretty nicely. The girls, high energy, always, you know, thinking. That's their brain thing, being female. Um, and so <laughs> we're really blessed to have him because he is such a really amazing animal ambassador. Now, if you're wondering how does he spray, it's not from the back with his tail up. That would take too much energy. He actually will stand up and spray out. Whoa. Yeah, and you want to know what? A lot of South American predators, like ocelots and things, jaguars, they go, <laughs> forget that man. If he's scratching himself, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> um, he, they, a lot of predators don't mess with tamanduas, even though they'd be a really good meaty meal, because they just can't get through the smell of their food. And they just say, well, that ruins my appetite. Like I said, he has a potency. <laughs> True man here. He has a potency um, of about seven times the strength in spray smell than, um, than a skunk. And just working with him, I mean, you, you smell him. Just even in his creep, uh, everybody walks over and they're like, oh, what is that? This man do a... Very good. Um, it is said, supposedly, I haven't seen this happen, so I can't really attest to it yet, but those claws on the front, when he walks, he actually walks on the sides of his hands. He doesn't actually walk on his claws. Obviously, he doesn't want to dull them, right? Okay, that makes sense. Supposedly, though, he can actually pull slabs of concrete off the sidewalk. That's how strong he is. I'll tell you, with Tifu, if, you, if he latches onto anything, good luck trying to get him off of it. So many times I've tried to take him out of his exhibit, and he has tons of climbing structures everywhere, and branches everywhere, and a yeah, good demonstration of the, the feet rotation, working his way down the tree. I'm just going to spot him, you know, just in case. He is older. You got it, buddy? Isn't that neat? I know. His tail is helping. It's kind of like an extra finger, basically. And then he'll make his way down onto the ground. So he's not hanging from it, but it is helping him hold on a little bit more securely. And now he's like, what is this substrate? Wood flooring? Oh, they're going to have to mop. Sorry, good service. Anyway, this is basically how he makes his way out of the, out of the trees in the rainforest. It's pretty amazing. So does anybody have any questions about Mr. Tipu here, the stinky poo-poo? Yes.